All right, after 3.6 live stream, uh, the title was there somewhere. I didn't see it on the video, but <laughs> I'm sure it's in there. And yeah, only only about 30 minutes. Usually it is about 30 minutes. Sometimes it's like a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised it's only 30 minutes or 28 minutes long. So, and they changed the format. Oh, looks better. Okay. Huh. I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time. It's like Bioshock. It's longer than any records in existence. The history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tevat. Dragons? Dragon King? We were victims of the apocalypse. We also became the apocalypse itself. Holy. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? What is that? No one can withstand the power of the apocalypse. Oh, that's like Warframe. <laughs> what the heck is this? Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heavens glow. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey, wait! Ugh. What, what even? What? Where are we? Oh, death. And the oh, here we go. All follow a set of laws. Nice. Oh my God. Bro, they are, oh my goodness, they're crazy with the, the music every single time. Taking a turn for the better. Shielder. Feast your eyes. <laughs> Watch and learn. No, they didn't. Good grief. Sight clear. Oh, the briefcase is part of his kit. Uh, wait, up. what? Oh, and here's Kabe bringing up the rear. What is this? What is Scar here? Bro, what is this? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Awesome. The music is insane on that. Zach Aguilar and welcome to the Genshin Impact Zach. version 3.6 special him. program. Wow, I you know I didn't expect we'd appear right tournament arc this time. I Actually, really enjoyed that. Anyway, we've got a jam-packed program today, and we wow. have more hosts than usual. So why don't we go around and take a moment to introduce ourselves? Well, Bye, a shield, huh? <laughs> sure thing. Hey, everybody! It's so good to see you all again. I'm Kimberly. Ann hey, Ann it's Kimberly. Kimberly. I'm so excited to finally be back and share new content with all of you. Oh, <laughs> well, if it isn't the renowned traveler, Dory. Hello, everyone. My name is Anjali Kunipanani, and I'm the voice of Dory. Kunipanani. Thank you for always supporting the business of Lord Sangama Bay with your shiny Mora. And I'm Sean. How does she do that voice? Baiju from Sean Derry. Are you experiencing any discomfort? And how many days have the symptoms persisted? Yeah, uh, mm, Dang, they're like so. I don't know how they do it, man. Have this problem where I am way too obsessed with my cute little chibi. Hello. <laughs> you are already a chibi. Anyway, I am sure a lot of our viewers have already seen our characters pop up in the game by now. True. Yeah, you've all been a part of the traveler's journey at some point or another. That's right, and we'll be seeing everyone again to experience some new stories together in the upcoming version. Yeah, I get so wait. interested in that in the. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to jump into some the tournament content. Like, you know, I don't know, one of our new playable characters in version three point six. Uh, let me know if I'm saying this right. I think his name is <laughs> Baiju. Baiju. No. Mm, I'll settle, Sean. <laughs> nice. I'm sure everyone's waiting to see which event wish the new characters will be appearing in. Already? So, let's get to our first redemption code, and in the meantime, everyone will also be able to check out some details about the version 3.6 event wishes. All right. Sounds good. Here we go. Oh, they're showing it now? Oh, interesting. So, okay, so, the, okay, of course, there's Nilu. We all okay, really expected that. Oh, so it is in phase one. Oh, no. No. 
It is in phase one. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Those rumors were absolutely true. That was spot on. Kave is on the second half with Baiju, Ganyu, and Nilo and Nikita were first. Dang. Well, that's not bad, though. That's not bad. I wish I do wish Kave was first, though, but. Uh, oh, is that? Oh, yeah, Baiju. Okay. You get like a, you get like a Zhao weapon type of catalyst. Yeah, you, I don't know. Yeah, you was dead. I expect you to be like 3.8. I've, I've accepted it at, at this point. <laughs> when on the road, one should take Here we go. Time to pause and appreciate the wondrous scenery along the way. You're about to collapse. It's like doing like the Neji. It's like doing like the 64 Paul. <laughs> Oh, it's Ching 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 Shen. Taking a turn for the better. Oh, that's a nice little, like, simple burst. So is it Shielder? Seems that. <laughs> okay, that snake was awesome. Also, hmm. this design totally popped up on Baiju's shield. Oh, I like that. Uh, well, I, I didn't even notice snake, that. But Chung Chung sounds so cute. <laughs> I'm afraid of snakes. Also, random yeah, that's gonna be a good banner. Isn't Baiju the first male character with glasses? Oh wow! Oh. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. Personally, I love his voice. I think it's amazing. Uh, also, <laughs> is it? Wrong with purple pants. Not biased at all. Really I think can. so. If they're saying <laughs> it. Okay, let's talk about Baiju. Baiju is a doctor at Boo Boo Pharmacy and is skilled at healing his patients. His abilities have helped Boo Boo Pharmacy make a reputation for itself. Healing. In Harbor, but. Most importantly, Baiju is oh, I'm moving right before Akan. Oh, shoot. And his heart is dedicated to helping the world. That's pressuring. To anyone who comes to Boo Boo Pharmacy seeking medical attention, regardless of their wealth or status. Ah. Huh. Oh, I see. So he's that kind of doctor. Oh, yeah. Sucrose. What kind did you think he was? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I kind of thought he might be the type of doctor who does good things, but with his own nefarious plan. You know, like, I feel like Baiju should be standing in Boo Boo Pharmacy. For a price. Uh, I, I guess he just seems kind of mysterious like that. Oh, Dory. She has sunglasses. <laughs> give your imagination some credit, but sorry, he isn't quite the suspicious doctor like you imagined. In fact, he's actually Sus a doctor. physician among the people of Liyue Harbor. Everyone prefers to go see Dr. Baiju, no matter how serious the problem may be. But even you like the only doctor? skilled physician... His own condition isn't so great. I know people say that doctors are the worst patients. Is that the case for Baiju as well? Well, Baiju's case <laughs> is a little complicated, and I don't want to give away. She say otherwise. So travelers will have to check him out in game to learn more about his story. Story quest? Zip. That's all you're Baiju story okay, quest? Well, no matter what happens, I just hope that he'll be able to take care of himself. Me too. But besides his help, Baiju also has some other troubles to worry about. For example, Director Who will sometimes put up ads outside of Boo Boo Pharmacy <laughs> to promote her funeral parlor. On top of that, poor little Chi Chi is terrified of Hu Tao. So oh my god, that's terrible. Baiju really has his hands full. Yeah, that's horrible. That sound like something that Hu Tao would do. As fate would have it, <laughs> that's actually... Baiju's master and the former director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor both studied together under the same master. Oh. But the two had differing views on the concepts of life and death and ended up going their separate ways. Their Naturally. Their differences were passed down to their apprentices, which has led to Baiju and Hu Tao's different views. In version yeah. 3.6, travelers will be able hey, to hear there it is. story quest to hear some of Baiju's inner thoughts and learn more about this caring doctor. I want to hear him say the name. I can't wait to check it out. Ah. In, in his search for discovering new treatments and cures, wow, look Baiju at him, playable. Choose to test new medicines on himself. As you spend time with Baiju in the field, oh my you can goodness, use of his knowledge of herbs and interact with certain harvestable items. That's his passive. Your current active character. So. That's kind of like when you pick up a chest with that early game artifact. Or open a chest. Yep, that's right. Baiju's treatment in battle is usually performed in two steps. Step one is to control a wandering sprite that cruises through the enemies and restores HP to his teammates. Step two is to create a shield. When the shield refreshes, ends, or is broken, not only will it provide healing, but it will also deal dendro damage to enemies. 
Baiju believes that can you switch out the field though? Spot, as long as the diagnosis and treatment are done properly, lives can always be saved. Sweet. Looks like we'll be able hmm. to try out some new team compositions with him in mind. For sure. Well, I guess right, they both heal the whole team. Baiju, so let's move on to our next playable character. That's it. Many travelers already know him well. I'm glad huh. you gave me a chance. I, th I didn't say it was off field or not, but people with similar tastes to sustain here he is. Is he? Come at me. I can't tell what he's using. Breaking new ground. His animation set is pretty cool though. Like he's like literally spins around while he walks. Oh, that's a plan one. Suitcase, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Ben. Did you see him make that was a Macy? Hold on command. That'll be useful for me. Yeah, that was crazy. And the toolbox. He Wait, say what? Cool accessories. I am jealous. Oh yeah, I'm loving those animations. Super cool. Yeah, that that was <laughs> actually cool. Okay, so I didn't get to see see much of it, but some connections with Dory. I'll introduce him. Uh, Kave is an architect and has this like keen sense for beauty and the arts that he's developed mm -hmm. ever since he was a child. Not to brag or anything, but his magnum opus is the Palace of Alcazarsere, which is <laughs> magnum opus where Dory lives. And his designs not only provide the required functionality, but also greatly incorporate his own artistic taste, making them feel. I'm glad he's finally here, though. Noteworthy. Or going to be. He I sounds guess. like a genius, so he must be pretty successful. Yeah. Uh, well, he doesn't quite lead the life of success and carefree spending like you might imagine. Uh, it's it's actually kind of the opposite. He hardly has enough more to survive. Ah, mood. Uh, okay, so <laughs> mood. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, why? Kimberly. Uh, well, it kind of comes down mood. to Kabe's personality. He's a very perceptive person, so he has this sensitive and delicate side to his character. I wonder, wonder why he's broke. Of empathy and can understand the emotions and thoughts of different people, which may actually be one of his sources of artistic inspiration. You think he'd be? For example, when the someone opposite. is trying to sell something to Kabe, all they have to do is make up some story about how the proceeds go to helping poor children. And he'll practically hand over his mora, like all of it. <laughs> wow. oh, nice, but gold okay. Guy. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, he doesn't limit himself with the cost of construction. I mean, take the Palace of Alcazar's array as an example. Maybe only a real maniac architect like him, who doesn't care about the costs, could ever build something as amazing as that. Well, you probably kind of respect meh. him for that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's probably these kinds of situations that have made him become roommates with all hate them. But aren't we all hate them and Kave polar opposites? We see them bicker all the time. About we sure do. Well, Kave thinks that all hate them lacks feelings for others and always disagrees with his point of view. But like Anjali <laughs> just said, Kave can understand how many. I love that that their uh, dynamic. I hate them and Kave. Hi. Yeah, I think we're starting to understand Kave's character a little better now. It's like a sitcom. So, we can move on to some of his talents. Yeah, for sure. Let's see it. As an architect, he can help everyone save some materials when creating furnishings. And his is you and Mia 2.0. Come in handy during battle. Well, actually, no, that's like actually kind of different. Designer, Kave must always bring tools with him. His toolbox named Mama, Oh shoot. Not only provides Kave with tools, I think it's like a live. Interesting uses. For example, Marak's mapping ability allows him to scan the battlefield, causing all dendro cores within a certain AoE to burst immediately. Oh, he's actually that like a... when Marak completely releases its energy, it converts Kave's attack damage to dendro damage and increases Kave's combat capabilities. Uh, okay. That's actually not bad at all. That's like the those dendro cores at the same time. Kave won't be hurt by them. In fact, it's like a bloom driver him to recover a set amount of HP when he takes damage from a dendro core Ooh, it's that's good it's good to have a reliable partner like that chong chong always gives because he actually you guys should take damage from bloom exactly. so he actually Mark heals pretty remarkable it can even wield a oh my god that's, that's sick awesome toolbox <laughs> i know right uh that is sick so that should be just about everything we have that is too about. cool that's actually but better than baiju's I animation his character has more depth than we expected that's really cool. He is a distinguished architect from the Nation of Wisdom. Yeah, it's a lot of different passes. It's nice. Yeah, Kabe will be appearing in the main event for version 3.6, so maybe we give some details about that next. So it's in the okay, second half, though.
Our main event for version 3.6 is the Academia Extravaganza. Yep, and as far as on a variety of celebrations, Hoggers serves as a chance for the six Darshans to compete. The extravaganza consists oh, of two main parts. I thought we would get the we got to pick one of those. I was like, oh my god. In the Wisdom Gala, the six Darshans have prepared six corresponding activities to show off the style of each respective school. As for the inter Darshan, oh, so it's the tournament. Each of the Darshans will be selecting a single member to represent their school in a large competition. Okay. Hmm. So is probably ends up being Skarmish. Play the travelers can expect to see. It sounds like we'll be getting a total of six different game modes this time. That is cool. That's a really that's a nice little like a uh, yeah. <laughs> scenario here. Six Darshans will be compiling their research to provide fun mini games for everyone to enjoy. For example, Layla's with Awahis Darshan will be setting up an astrolabe used for studying Ooh. astrology at their booth. When travelers adjust the astrolabe to the appropriate height and angle, the stars on the astrolabe will light up and form a pattern. Well, oh, that's time, okay. That's actually kind of cool. Little fungus. Aww. Aww, that does look like fun. Nice. Here's another one. The scholars from oh, gosh. will have oh, God. <laughs> their understanding of mechanisms and architecture. Oh, no. They're travelers making us play teapot. The least possible materials to build a road that meets certain requirements within a limited space. Ooh, I'm already getting a lot of ideas for this one. Oh, I actually like that. It seems travelers will have a lot because you get to actually play it. Arrangements they can think of to reach those goals. Uh huh. Yeah. Next is oh no, no, you can just cheese that though. Pretty seriously, they will be holding an archaeological activity where travelers will wait. Could could you use your abilities? Those goals. No, I don't think you can. They are taking their booth pretty seriously. Oh, no, I mean, it seemed like it was, it seemed like it was. Mona from Mirage flashbacks? Specialized equipment to detect relic replicas. Travelers will have to carefully observe the surrounding environment as they search, and even eliminate external interference affecting the detectors to find the relic replicas. Oh, this is all very nice, but uh, are there any games where we won't have to go running around as much? I'm lazy. you, yes. There's something for everyone in these game modes. With this one, you can just so relax. Say, let's see. stay put while you listen to a story. But as you're oh, listening, you what? Get to ask the storyteller some questions. If you're able to ask and uncover some key information, then you'll what is this? To lead you to the truth of the story. Very mysterious. Hmm. Sponta Mod, on the other hand, is preparing a small combat experiment to put travelers' combat abilities to the test within a set amount of time. Of course, we okay. provide a variety of potions to help travelers overcome situations in the experiment. Also, very cool. Come back of it. And and last but not least is a little bionic experiment set up by Tainari's Amorta Darshan. Travelers will be able to I do like this like six different mini games though. Command their movement. Oh, well, that's cool. Hmm. That should That's pretty cool. For the Wisdom Gala. So which Darshan's events are you all most And this is all one thing. Oh, you know, that's why when I came out, uh, any platform event that became a meme. True. Yeah. True. And never losing. Wow. I like the star one. I like stars. It's very cool. I like the Yeah, the star combat and the Minecraft travel one. That in addition to the Wisdom Gala, we still have the Inter Darshan Championship. This oh, there you go. There's championship. And courage, and you won't want to miss seeing which Darshan is able to claim the title of champion. Very cool. Oh, and there is one more. How oh, were they fighting? Layla's very. Hey, there we go. There's a hangout. So be sure not to miss it. Okay. So there it is. Hey, we get to hang out with Layla. Awesome. I was waiting for that for a while. Okay, and our next event will also be taking place in Sumeria. Oh no, we know. Activity has suddenly been on the rise, mm -hmm. and the academia is dispatching researchers to respond to the problem. This time, we'll be helping scholars clear the desert of obstructions, assemble the Waynut Slayer cannon, and repel the one uh -oh. Waynut. The Waynut Slayer. Waynut? Huh? Oh, it's Waynut. That's <laughs> <laughs> quite the name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was we know. implies it's very effective against Wayne. Can I hang out? That'd be nice. Yeah. Clear out any monsters nearby Surely. and help with the preparation so the cannon can start attacking. I'm sure our travelers will be able to help handle the situation. Oh, yeah. That is pretty uh, fun. We also have one other event for travelers to continue improving their combat abilities. During the challenge, travelers will have to complete three consecutive combat rounds. During each round, the system will hmm. randomly activate one or more. Yeah, Miko. Effects at set intervals of time. 
So I guess it's safe to say that no two rounds will play the same. I guess not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not the one we had before. Yeah. Energize with your team composition, then your team will really start to shine. This one has some crazy it's runs. Interesting to have these random elements added to the challenge. I feel like it'll bring some fun surprises to the gameplay. Yeah, <laughs> totally. And these I like this one actually. Are all pretty powerful. The travelers should definitely try some different team combinations and I think it's a little bit different though. With. And also, the overflowing mastery event will be returning overflowing again, mastery. With double drops for a limited time to help travelers keep leveling up their characters. In addition to the Always love that. already mentioned, there will be one more event taking place in an all new area. So first, I think we should reveal the new area. Uh oh, here we go. Uh, oh. Oh. Let's take a quick break and give another redemption code. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Did they show anything else at the code? We'll have some info regarding new artifacts set during the break, so be sure not to miss that. Yeah, so that they do have like. Oh wait, wait. Oh, well, those look, look like like Fontaine at the top and the bottom. I have no idea. Nymph's dream. Hydro damage bonus after normal charge attack, punching attack, elemental skills, or burst. You get like attack will be increased. Okay. I don't really know. Maybe that's like for alluding to like the next characters, like Infantine, like Hydra characters. Looks pretty good for like uh, Aito or Child, I guess. And then Varu Kasha's Glow. Oh my god, another plus 20 HP? That means you can have like an insane amount of HP on characters now. You can just run double tenacity, if you will. Like, or sorry, tenacity and then this new artifact. So you get 40% HP. <laughs> you can definitely hit like over 100k HP with somebody at this point. Definitely. Uh, elemental scale, elemental burst damage will be increased 100%. After putting the character takes damage, the aforementioned damage bonus will be Increase by 80% for five seconds. That can be up to five stacks. Each duration stack is counted independently. Oh, is that? Have I lost? Is that is that a Dia set? The first artifact is just Polar Star, but an artifact. Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah. Child's weapon. Second, you could do uh, two piece Nilu if you had a higher uh, a higher con. The Dia could also use it. Yeah, Dia. You could have a lot of HP now. But. I guess this, yeah, this this set is actually Dia. It's like Dia's set, so to speak. You do your skill or your burst, you get damage increase by 10%, and then you also get a uh, damage increase if you take damage. It sh did it show this stuff during the intermission? Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, we are back and ready to show an so where is this? area being added to the game. That's right, and I hope you're all as excited as we are. This area is located deep in the desert, in the northwest of the desert of Hadramavid. According to the legend, North. it was one of the main rifts that monsters were emerging from during the Conria disaster 500 years ago, and the site of a battlefield where God suppressed the power of the abyss. Oh, oh. although it was originally desert, hmm. the ecological system has completely changed due to the power of oh. the abyss. And I see a tree. I see a tree. It has become a large, uninhabited area of swamps and wastelands. Ugh. So you're saying that we might be able to uncover some buried secrets about Conria there? On second thought, it kind of sounds like <laughs> it might be dangerous. Yeah. Space. Luckily, we have some little helpers to assist us in our search. Wait, what? There will be a party named Sorush waiting for us that will lend us its abilities, allowing travelers to freely fly across parts of the area and access some locations that would be impossible on foot. Wait, we actually get to we'll be able to fly around now <laughs> yeah okay I, th I thought it was automated that's why i wasn't like yes! that's actually kind of cool then i thought it was automated power, there will be a small event for travelers to help it continue its training we will guide Sorosh to drive away enemies conduct <laughs> training and complete puzzles so be sure to check it out i love, love the sleeping travelers icon also encounter a new enemy during their journey in version 3.6 that kind of looks like what would be the uh enemy that we would fight like from that the statue of the seven that was upside down in the Ida quest and also she has like a scaramouche kind of thing she has the three elements on the on her back the iniquitous baptist iniquitous baptist using multiple elements in battle and creating shields for corresponding elements to reduce damage it definitely looks like oh, shoot. a formidable enemy that's not all we have two more interesting enemies oh my god 
the animo and hydro hilly churl road dude the hilly churl's got a buff are wandering across to that <laughs> and do not belong to any particular hilly churl they look tribe. so cool sometimes they assist other hilly churls or tribes in need of help it's like a whole different game have a unique combat style even though it seems this place that's the most interesting thing yeah those hilly churls for me stop the traveler from bringing new hope to the region some clues related oh, to the area are also waiting to be uncovered here, so it's definitely worth exploring. Well, no wonder why we're seeing those hilly trails if it's Conra. But Stop. not least, in version 3.6, the legendary dragon of Verger, a pep, will appear. <sighs> the dragon of Verger was once. Oh, that's right. Yeah, weekly boss. Sumeru, but its color later changed to that of yellow sand. Recently, that looks gross. To be suffering from some kind of illness. Dragons yeah, no kidding. Making their way to the Dendro Dragon's habitat to face it in battle, so we must yeah. be very careful. The battle will be split into three. Oh yeah, the Amber Quest. That's like the bombs with the la yeah, the fun guy. Love is that in the second phase of the fight, travelers will need to protect the Dendro Dragon from monsters in order to prevent the dragon's illness from getting any worse. Huh. Oh, we gotta save it. Yes. And yeah. In the third phase, the Dendro Dragon will unleash third phase. Extremely powerful attacks. So travelers will need to be careful to avoid those. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a pain as a weekly boss, isn't it? Has been through and what exactly caused it to change into its current twisted form? Perhaps we'll get some more answers after we faced it in battle. Yeah. That's kind of a cool way because it's like we're actually saving it instead of fighting it. Dragon has a close connection with Sumeru's history and gods. Going into its lair and determining what's causing its what is with them in like an underground worms? And will be helped Please stop. The entire nation of Sumeru. Stop so with the worms, the third worm. The dragon, then be sure to check out chapter two of Nahim's hey, story go. quest. Oh, for sure. Rip Venti. I think there will be a lot of Apep, Apep, Apep. So be sure to look forward to it. Kari Brit <laughs> Oh, and, uh, no. That's about all we have for new content in the upcoming version. But yeah, they did laugh through it. Rush through it. We have an announcement regarding Genshin Impact's music. music. The second album for the Sumeru region. Noise. The Unfathomable Sand Dunes will also be releasing soon. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. Nice. I love the Sumeru More music. music. <laughs> yeah, I do too. This album you need the first one yet? Oh, no. Three discs, compiling all the original music that the Hoyo mix team Honestly, I don't think like the first one has anything to do with region, what's going to happen. 3.1 to 3.6 okay this is super cool Dude. Oh, yeah. be sure and pick that up i'm hyped right so let's watch a trailer of the new OS trailer give our final redemption code of the day oh the tunnel we're talking about before oh yeah yeah huh that's really nice to listen to the desert theme or all the themes this is back second sumer ost album uh, okay and there's your last codes. I wonder why they were fighting. Guess we'll find out. Or not, not fighting, but like, I guess sparring or like playing some sort of like catch kind of game. Sports. To the ending here. It's gonna be a lot to enjoy in the new version. I know, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm so yeah, the new area definitely is kind of small, huh? In her new story quest chapter, and 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 confronting the new <laughs> Dendro Dragon. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. I'm leave me alone. To have gotten to come on this special program today it was my first time. This is so cool, and also that trailer was so cool. Oh, so Definitely. Sad. I was. I gotta watch that back again. It's really cool that people will get to discover more about Baiju and that there's more to him than just the man who works at the Boo Boo Pharmacy. He's been that for <laughs> that two years. Hurts. True. True that. I'm looking forward to the new area, new playables, and no, you're not. Course, the academia extravaganza. So he hasn't even finished the chasm yet. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of the special program. It's been so great hanging with you guys. Oh right, yeah, that, that was kind of that was really quick. Yeah. Thank you for having me again. Of course. Where's buys you with the promo? The oh. I'll see you guys all in game. <laughs> no, you won't. Where was the cave um promo? Actually, that's the real question. So a couple of things I missed, or not missed, but I didn't really see much of what Baiju did. Uh, where was it? There it is. But yeah, the event seems pretty nice. I like the whole like Darshan, um, sort of like aspect or the Darshan like not versus, but all the mini games there. 
And uh, yeah, let me see what, and then the banner is, of course, where what we expected. So that's going to be a pretty good banner. Nahida and Nilu. A lot of people, a lot of people were actually, yeah, because these people were the ones that everybody wanted. But last time Nilu was before Nahida, before the, the next patch. So now they're actually together, which is how, honestly, is how it should have been. <laughs> so that's going to be, that's that banner's going to go insane. And then this one, eh. Ganyu, Baiju. And then Kaveh's on the second half, so, eh, I don't know. Very weird and short live stream for me. Harry Potter crossover. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's pretty quick. I, I guess we kind of got used to, um, the, like, Dawe and, like, the devs doing the live stream, because we've gotten so many of those. So, we're kind of, like, easing back into the Chibi live streams again. And then... Yeah, then there's this. I gotta see what this, I didn't see what this does. But something tells me, like, with the way catalysts have been, this probably won't be worth it. <laughs> Especially if Baiju's, like, all healing. So that's... Eh. Like you said, the adventures something artifact, pretty much. And then he gets a shield. Baiju can periodically generate a seamless shield for your party members with healing effects. Certain reaction damage dealt by characters who are healed by seamless shields will be increased. Certain reaction damage by characters who are healed. Oh, okay. So his shield breaks by itself. Oh, no, sorry, it, it, it refreshes by itself. But it's like very. It's like every two seconds. So it deals damage and and restores HP to his teammates. So it's not just him or whoever's on the field. Because if that's the case, he actually might be good. Like another off-field danger applier. And if that's the case, then I'm definitely pulling for him. Rock's mapping ability can be used to or for offensive purposes, dealing dendro damage. Besides enhancing Cavalier's combat abilities, it's also cap capable of causing dendro cores with a certain AoE to burst immediately. It's kind of like a budget Nilu. So it's it's his burst isn't really all that. I mean, it's interesting because you can do dendro damage on field, but um, yeah, pretty much the E is like the important part on him. So yeah, I'd say the actual event itself. <laughs> The competition is heating up. Oh, and here's oh, this is so cool. This. And I'll hate them like the narrator. I just wonder what's happening here. Hmm. Can't wait to see what happens there. The actual event is really interesting to me. Uh, the banners are really good this time around. Well, I say the first half. Second half is still pretty, still good. Not, not bad. But I don't think too many people are trying to go for Ganyu at this point. Um, but that is one of the people that I actually wanted. So I actually, I'll, I'll try to go for her. But I will not be leveling her up immediately because I don't have the mess. Um, and then, yeah, Kave. Hopefully Kave as well. I want to see Kave's cons too. Because if it is cons, that'd be really good. But I think Kaive is going to be pretty... I think Kaive is going to be the most interesting character out of this patch. Honestly. Because to my knowledge, Baiju just looks like a healer and a slight shielder. But Kaive's kit, look, look, his animations look really good. Let me see if they show it again. It was like right towards the end. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, okay. Dude just has the thing spinning around as he walks slowly. How should I say this? Like his animations are his animations are like the coolest thing so far. And then also like on Bloom teams it can be really cool. The actual quest, the story looks really cool. The story quest. The banners I'm definitely gonna be wishing on. Kave and Kave Ka Kave and Kave. Kave and Baiji want to learn a lot more about. The artifacts are interesting, but not nothing too crazy me uh the mini game I, I liked like this one the most this one the combat ones and uh layla's one and we also get a baiju story quest too and a free fire zone so that's probably the biggest thing and last but certainly not least the new hilly churl <laughs> not the boss but the new hilly churl <laughs> that's actually like really cool I cannot believe that. And like even the mask looks different too. We are also waiting to be uncovered here. And unfortunately, we feel like we just got Scar and Moose, but now we have a, a new weekly boss to fight as well. So 
Oh no, that's 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 also everything. So every future character, yikes. Well, at least Scar. So now it's gonna be a mandatory Scar fight and a mandatory um. What's it called? Apep. Very dragon of Berger, a Apep. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the anime. It looks like uh, so you should die from Pokemon. Absolutely. Uh, announcement. Oh <laughs> yeah, I hear <laughs> <Titled> <laughs> Oh my series. gosh, yeah, actually. We'll also be releasing soon. Oh, nice. I actually, does look like that. And this looks like gonna be like like it's gonna be pretty annoying, but it is a land boss, so. It definitely looks like it'll be a formidable enemy. Oh wait, no. Because I'll probably need this one to level him up. Yeah, shoot. So I guess I will have to. That wasn't a. That was definitely better than what we have currently.